Hey Leo, my lovely lions. I am back. Um, I've been through a lot and I'm glad to be back with you guys. Sorry about August readings, but now I'll be more on a schedule for you guys. And uh, can't wait to spend more time with you guys. I'm also hoping to do like uh, live chats and get into all that too. So I can talk to you guys one on one and answer any questions you guys have. But um, I'm just so thankful to be here and to spend this time with you guys. Um, this will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. Um, please keep in mind energy is interchangeable. Okay, that means it can go vice versa. <clears throat> and this reading won't resonate with everyone as I am reading for uh, many of you. So just take whatever fits with your situation and leave the rest, okay? Oh, it feels good to be back. Okay. So let's start off with um, the oracle cards you got. So we have closed off guarded resistance with comfort zone and clinging. <clears throat> Excuse me. So um, somebody here that you're dealing with is very closed off because it is their comfort zone. Okay. Um, they, it's kind of like they're, I, I sense a fear here of not wanting to step out of that comfort zone. Um, but it's in, inhibiting them. Um, it's getting to the point where it's a little too burdening for them to stay in this zone. I feel like, um, almost like a, um, explosion, uh, ready to happen. Cause I see just, um, bombs going off. Okay. So I feel like somebody's just sick of being in that zone, but they're more comfortable in that zone, but it's starting to get uncomfortable being in there. Okay. We also have attract, set your intentions high and you know you deserve to receive love, joy, and happiness. So this person has hope, okay, in this situation. And <clears throat> is, is wanting to attract you towards them. So it's almost like, you know, they don't want to step out. But hoping that maybe you will step out. Because um, this could be a karmic lesson where they need to be vulnerable. And they need to step out of their comfort zone. And so maybe you're being held back at this time. Um, take it where it fits. We also have unexpected people, events, messages, uh, sorry, travel or situations. And this came out with um, synergistic. This is your energetic match. Two birds sing sweeter than one. So definitely you both are feeling each other's energy, okay? Um, this person is tapping in to your energy and trying to send you possibly telepathic messages, but regardless, they are pushing their energy towards you. So you can probably feel it. Most of you probably can feel this person's not in quite a good, um, spot. Okay. <clears throat> but we're going to see why, why maybe, um, cause I'm feeling from your side, you're not wanting to um, go at it anymore. It might feel like from your side, you've been the one that has extended the olive branch or have, uh, chased this person. And now you're just like, I'm done. You know, I, I there's not much more I can do if this person doesn't want to show reciprocation. Okay. Overall energy. We have the strength card. There you are, Leo, right? So this is, um, this could be taming, um, taming yourself, right? But I feel like, again, the person is in their comfort zone. This is, you know, holding back, trying to restrain. Um, and also the lady, I'm just watching the arm, the hands there, how she's comforting the lion. I feel like this person is, needs, this is, they're going through a lesson in vulnerability. Okay. And with the strength card, it's letting me know that uh, both sides uh, have the courage and the strength to proceed in how they want or get the achieved outcome of the situation that, that you really want. It, the, the opportunity is there, right? 
as that's why I feel with the attract card here, I feel like the opportunity is there. It's knocking, but it's, it's almost like a stalemate situation, but somebody's got to step out of their comfort zone here. We also have the tower. Okay, tower, ace of wands, looks like an opportunity might be coming up where somebody has kind of held back here in the eight of swords. All right, so let's get into it here and see what's going on in the current situation. What is the person you're dealing with doing right now in regards to you? Let's get into it, Leo. So we have the ten of wands. Again, that's what I was feeling is it's becoming such a burden to be where they're at. It's very stagnant. Um, it's comfortable, but it's getting to the point where they, <clears throat> you know, you when you get to the 10, you can only go so far till you have to release, you know, that energy and start over with the ace, right? But with the 10 of wands here, I feel like, see how this guy is like looking for ways that maybe he can receive help from the environment to, you know, help carry the rest of this. Like he doesn't want to drop it. Right. But unfortunately, as those wands underneath, it looks like they're about ready to drop, you know, um, it's almost like he's looking for a safe haven. Some of you might like Joe Jonas. I don't know what that is. So I just heard, and I'm seeing here, um, some, someone, some of you might like him as a person or the music, um, the Jonas Brothers, some music that they play, or it's a special song to you guys, but that's not for all, that's for a specific somebody. Anyways, let's move on here. So we have the Three of Cups with the Ten of Swords reverse. Again, with the Attract card. I feel like this person is in the mode of releasing. Again, I told, I said, uh, you can only get into the 10, when you're in the 10, you have to release, right? This person is in the mode of releasing and getting that energy back, that attraction, um, energy, the energy willing to um, be positive in the situation. We also do have the magician card. So this tells me that they have all the tools, right? That they need. But they know this. They know that they have the courage and the strength inside to move forward to you. So let me see what's the Ten of Wands, what's the Ten of Wands about. Yeah. Ten of Wands, Ten of Cups. So we've hit all tens here. We now have three tens. So this cycle is about to close, okay? Um, and it could be a cycle of just stagnancy, uh, stalemate, right? Um, and just overall burdensome to this person because this person is burdened because they see you as their happiness. The one that they really want to spend their life with. The one that means the most to them. And I just heard, they just make me so happy like no other. You know, so you make them so happy and this is hard for them because they're not, they haven't made a move. Tell me about the magician here. Yeah, King of Cups. So this is an emotional stance here. This person has has all the all the tools they need to be able to express themselves emotionally. Again, they've been holding back with the King of Cups, right? But they're able to um, communicate with you in a mature on a mature level emotionally. Okay, when it's attached to the magician. Okay, sometimes it comes up for emotional manipulation, um, but that would be uh, with different cards surrounding it. Okay, tell me about the king, king of cups, page of swords, and we also have the seven of swords. Again, this person has been hiding their feelings and page of swords trying to figure out a way to express them. Okay, express how they feel towards you, which tells me they have not done that in the past. Okay, you've probably been the one that has been chasing them or, um, you know, going after them, always making them feel good. Right? Tell me the three of cups, ten of swords. Yeah, now we've hit the ace, right? We have the ace of cups. This person is ready to start um, the cycle. Okay, this the old cycle's ending and a new cycle's beginning here with the ace of cups. 
they are ready to offer their love to you. They're ready to, they want that, um, they want that emotional connection. They want that emotional start with you. Let me see what you're doing right now in regards to this person. Let's see where you're at. Okay, so you feel it tugging. You feel that energy tugging. You feel, <clears throat> you know you're in the waiting period. You're taking a time out. You know this is happening. You know it's coming. And it's almost like you're you're waiting for it. And when they do come, you're in the Knight of Cups, Four of Swords, Ace of Wands. You are willing to, I just heard, meet them halfway. So you're willing to meet them halfway. But with the Four of Swords here is... It's a, it's a timeout because you're waiting for them to come towards you, okay? You want them to show that they are as much interested in you as you are them. That you shouldn't be the one that's always, you know, I care about you, I, I want to be with you, okay? Tell me about this Knight of Cups. <clears throat> Four of Cups, yeah. So you've been disappointed in this situation too, you know, because this has been like, I feel like there's been a lot of waiting. Um, this has been disappointing to you. You felt kind of bored and stagnant in the situation. I just heard so some of you tried to move on uh, from this person. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. Page of Wands, yeah. You're ready for this new adventure. You're ready for this to be a different cycle. It's almost like you know that this is going to be a different. That the old way is gone and that if this person comes towards you you're going to start a new adventure with this person tell me about this four of swords real quick i want to see king of swords yeah the time it's like waiting till this person speaks their truth okay king of swords let me see what happened in the situation what was the challenge here I, I do feel like there was distance. Uh, we do have the Tower Three of Wands, okay? We do have the High Priestess as well. I feel like someone kept more to themselves. They allowed the other person to pursue the other. A uh, Tower Three of Wands is, you know, somebody got tired of waiting. Somebody got tired of waiting around. Tell them about the Tower Three of Wands, please. Yeah, Knight of Swords Chariot. It's like, come on already. Why Why is this not moving forward? I know you care about me. I know you feel the same way. You make me so happy. I make you happy. What is the problem? Why are you not moving? Why do you not? I just heard, why didn't you visit me? Why didn't you come visit? So, I don't, there's distance here too. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. Nine of Cups. So the challenge here is there wasn't a, the foundation was not sturdy, right? So, um, how it started, how your relationship started was kind of like, you know, off keel. Uh, it wasn't, it wasn't, uh, very sturdy is what I keep hearing. It wasn't sturdy. Um, nine of cups, somebody was a little selfish. They, you know, it's kind of like. The situation where I feel like from their side, maybe they um, focused too much on themselves and what they wanted and they didn't give you what you wanted. Like they didn't reciprocate and say, hey, I care about you too. It's almost like they were in fear though here with the Ten of Swords because they were in the Ten of Swords, but now it's reversed. They were in fear of, of being, of committing completely and going all in with you because they're afraid of getting hurt. This stressed them out a lot to get to the Ten of Swords. So this was on their mind 24-7. And it's almost like, um, you know, that saying to love, um, how does it go? Um, it's better to love and lost than to not love at all. Or something like that. Um, it's like that saying, that particular saying scared the crap out of them. Like they did not want to go all in it's like they gave you little pieces of themselves to you like they they didn't it was more like a not a, i don't want to say a breadcrumbing because it's more of a fear like they just didn't want to jump all in 
and they were afraid of what might be there, right? Get caught up in the illusion of it, and they're afraid that, you know, if they didn't listen to their ego, which that's what they did, that they'd say, this is too good to be true. Like, they were literally telling themselves, this is way too good to be true. Nobody can really be that attracted to somebody or loved somebody that much, or it's almost like the wounded ego issues and the baggage that this person has to deal with, you know, <clears throat> their own shadow work. And that's what I thought do, starting this is it's more of a karmic situation. This person has to be vulnerable. They've been stuck in their ego way too long. And focused, when you're in your ego, you are tend to be focused on yourself, which may make you look very narcissistic. And I feel like some of you might have looked at this person like, you know, I don't know, this person's a narcissist or something because I don't see why they can't see how I feel. Why can't they just see how I feel? I'm telling them, I'm showing them, and they still don't get it. Like, why aren't they changing? Tell about the high priestess here. Queen of Pentacles, yeah. Somebody was holding back. They didn't nurture this connection. Again, this person um, did not nurture this connection at all. Um, in fact, it was almost like they felt like their role in the situation was to um, to have the other person, like it's something in their shadow work where they feel like in order for them to feel love, the person has to um, come towards them. The person always has to chase them. The person has to make promises and they their role is just to stay like that. I know it sounds weird, but something in their background or how they were raised in their environment was to keep quiet and if the person really truly does love you, they will go to the ends of the earth for you. And that's how you truly know that they love you. But I mean, that's what this person is being broken down to um, hitting rock bottom here in the 10 of swords. So it's a karmic lesson for this person. Let's see what action they're gonna take here in the month of September. Two of Swords, yeah, I felt like it was stalemate. Two of Swords, Fool, Knight of Wands. So this is telling me this person's, they're getting it, okay? They're going to come out of this situation. What is this? Hangman, yeah. Um, they're going to have to sacrifice their ego. They're going to have to sacrifice um, being vulnerable, you know? Tell me about the Two of Swords as action. Devil. This is something that has been eight of cups. This is something that has been chained to them for so long. This is shadow work of somebody feeling again, like the only way people I know that they really love me is if they'll go to the ends of, of the earth for me and I don't have to put in any effort. That's how I'll know that they love me because they, I know it sounds weird, but that's what it is. Two of swords, devil, eight of cups. And if they don't, this person is severely attached to this, um, this kind of, this schema way of thinking, this belief, right? And if not, then they have to walk away, right? If this person, every one side has to show so much effort while they sit on the sidelines. Tell me about the full card. Hierophant. Okay, so... This person is going to come out of the Two of Swords, the stalemate position. They're going to take a leap of faith, okay? But they're going to do it tiptoeing here with the hair font. They're going to try to, to kind of even the scales by doing things the right way. Maybe doing little things, you know, to step to step out of their comfort zone. Tell them about the scare fonts. Eight of Swords, Yeah. Because they feel like they're, they can't, you know, they feel like they don't have, they're, they're not capable of doing that, but they're slowly learning here. Once they get out of the two of swords, they're slowly learning that they can't, they do have the, um, the willpower and the strength card. And that's why it's the overall, they have the courage and the strength to do so that success is on their side. The universe is basically saying you can be successful in this. Then we have the Knight of Wands. So tell me about the Knight of Wands. They definitely have a lot of passion for you. Knight of Wands star. So something that seems so, you seem so unattainable to them because it feels like 
they want you so bad. They, um, you complete them um, in an emotional sense of what they want in a mate, right? So it's like you're, it's showing me you're a little different here than most of the people that they've ever been with, with the star card here, Knight of Wands. This is something that it would kill them if they didn't try. And so it's like the universe is using this as a karmic lesson as well. Um, and the universe tends to do this with soulmates and twin flame situations, um, that, that intense chemistry, because you, they don't want to lose it. And if they lose it, they will forever regret it. So they are going to take a chance on this adventure. Okay. The star card is also telling me, yeah, that there's hope in the situation. Page of cups. So they might come towards you and give you an apology or I'm not seeing so much of an apology, but being vulnerable here. Tell me about the page of cups. Yeah. Standing up for what they believe in, but this is like letting you know that all along that is why they were defensive. If you look at the page of cups and, and his face, it's like, yeah, this is how I truly feel. Okay, this is me being vulnerable. Like I really see vulnerability and going, this is why I held back. This is why I was, you know, trying to protect myself because I was afraid of getting hurt and my, my old schema of feeling like somebody needed to pursue me till the end, till basically marriage, you know, and proposing, their way of thinking was wrong. It's almost like, you know, I need to confess this to you. All right. Tell me about this, uh, seven of wands lovers. Yeah. Protecting themselves from this connection because we have the lovers card here. So this could be soulmate twin flame. Um, but the chemistry is so intense. The connection is intense. Okay. It is, um, it's a divine connection. And that's what you have in the center, the synergy here with uh, messages, like in the energy field, like you can feel it, they can feel you. Even if there's no not speaking for so long, a long period of time. Let me see what the outcome is here. Yeah, I thought it was karmic. We have a uh, Justice, Emperor, Queen of Cups, Five of Pentacles. So this person is definitely coming out of their vulnerable, vulnerable, uh, sorry, I should say vulnerability. Page of Pentacles, Nine of Wands. They're still going to be, they're willing to give a little bit. They've discovered that this has hindered um, the situation with you. That, in fact, the tables have turned on themselves where they possibly were blaming you before now they're understanding that they played in a very vital role in probably the demise of this relationship okay and tell me about the queen of cups eight of eight of wands they're getting they're getting messages again message unexpected messages from the divine they're receiving in their intuition they are being guided right now we have the emperor and the justice card tell me the justice card judgment yeah two of pentacles this is a karmic lesson that this person needed to go through and you happen to be the catalyst for that tell about the lovers ace of pentacles an opportunity presents itself here six of cups sun this person's your soulmate or twin flame the outcome is there's going to be control gained um back into building a foundation okay uh in this situation if you want it if you don't want it and you just want this for information i always say take it and, and just leave it right but i don't i tell you to take this person you know your situation and what's healthy for you but this person is your soulmate yes it's a karmic lesson judgment justice two of pentacles so a decision will be made here all right, control will be gained. 
messages are being received uh, through their intuition, they will be able to, um, I just heard, walk before you leap. So this person is going to be taking baby steps, you know, um, because it's, it's tough at first, right, to get out of their comfort zone. But um, you already feel this, you already know this, that's from your side. So you know this is coming and you know this person feels this way even though they've not reciprocated. So I feel like strength in the overall is from your side and there's, I just heard some of you are sending your, you know, strength is a Leo card. Some of you are sending their, your strength to this person. So some of you really care about this person's um, mental state and you know, how they're doing and you send loving energy to them. Some of you know, but some of you are doing some um, esoteric things or towards this person, sending energy messages to as well. All right, I'm going to leave it there, Leo. Thank you so much. I love you guys. And uh, thanks for hanging in there with me. You guys are the best. All right. You guys have